here today coming at you with an unboxing of my newest collection. It is called X Libris Galaxius, which I know is a mouthful, but once I figured out what it meant, I could not not use it. So Ex Libris Gal Galaxius means from the library, literally from the library of the galaxy in Latin. Ex Libris is something that was on a lot of book plates way back when, when people had big personal libraries and wanted to brag about where this book came from. The book plate was Ex Libris and then people would write their name on the book plate. So this collection is huge, people. There are uh, three extra sets of um, products in this collection because I just could not stop making pretty things, including a beautiful set of extra papers in both 12 by 12 and Traveler's Notebook size, which we will look at in a second. So as usual, the patterns come in 12 by 12 traveler's notebook and pattern card sizes in both three by four and four by six and as i always say the three by four and four by six cards on the printable sheets obviously it comes in three by four four by six six by four and four by three but on the printable sheets whether you choose four by six or three by four if a pattern has a specific orientation you have both orientations on the printable sheet so that you can print both out very easily depending uh, so you have both depending on what you want to use which orientation so there are 20 patterns in the main ex libris paper packs um, i've been calling it ex libris for short because ex libris galaxius is a lot to say. So Ex Libris, there are 20 pattern papers and 11 solids. Let's look at the solids so that we can see the color palette first. So it is a nice, deep, rich, jewel tone palette with red, pinks, purples, navy. We've got somewhere in here, there we go, we've got a teal and we've got another pink somewhere. There it is. So we've got all of these beautiful, rich colors in this collection. And the solid papers have a cool like folded effect on them, like they're creased a little bit. So that's fun. And let's look at the papers. So everything is always hand drawn, handmade by me. I do not use commercial use um, illustrations or patterns. So everything is always by me. You won't find it anywhere else. So here is a fun book pattern and all of the colors of the collection. A little red micro Swiss dot. I love this um, old fashioned looking plaid in black and cream. Here is a sort of buffalo plaid on the diagonal in the pinks. An arrow on this beautiful dark green. The stripe. Letters, there are letters in two styles. Let's see if we can find them both. There is the black and cream as well as, there it is, black and cream as well as multicolored, which is at a bit of a larger scale. So you can take your pick or use both. A craft with newsprint stars, which I really love. Oh, I printed, I love it so much. I printed myself too. <laughs> Here is a compass on yellow. It looks like sunburst or starburst at this size, but it's like a compass. Purple crosses book plates on newsprint. Just another fun little addition, a nod to the theme. I love this plaid. It's like a pinstripe plaid. All right, this paper, which you have to really see the 12 by 12 to fully appreciate it, but it does look great in a um, traveler's notebook size too, is a galaxy paper that I love so much. And you can see there are constellations. There is a constellation for every um, sun sign on this paper, uh, the 12 by 12, but then there is also a heart, a mug constellation. Let's see. Oh, it's so hard to see on camera. A mug constellation and a book as well that I threw in there. You can see the star map circular grid there. Can't have a book kit without a ledger paper. 
really loved the star theme. I was kind of going with books and stars for this collection. So we got this cool like retro looking multicolored star. I had to do another stripe because I loved these colors so much. So this is a rainbow stripe and it's got newsprint as well. And then of course, library cards and they made a really fun pattern. Then I couldn't resist making another book paper, this time book spines, and it makes a really cool diagonal stripe effect. And this is actually, these two are actually the very first papers I designed for this collection. So we've got this moon and stars paper too, very like wizard hatty, magical kind of a feeling. So those are the main kit papers, the main traveler's notebook papers and pattern cards. There is also a paper add-on for this collection and the paper add-on comes with both traveler's notebook and 12 by 12 sizes in one pack. So you buy one pack and you get both sizes and it's actually six papers, but I'm offering them with and without the faux gold splatters on them. So. Let me see here, where's the last one? Oh, somewhere in here. Oh wait, I think it's the red ones. No, nope. who knows? Oh, those are the same. Oh, well, we'll find it, we'll find it. Oh, here it is, ah, there we go. Okay, so there are galaxy papers and they are all in different color schemes. They have stars, nebulas, all of those really beautiful things. Uh, that make up the galaxy, the night sky. And then there's two options, one with and without the gold glitter speckles that I added to them. So this one is blue to purple. This one is black, blue, and purple. We've got black and blue. They all have different patterns too. They're not just the same pattern in different colors, all six. Um, papers are unique. They do not repeat themselves. So all of the splatter patterns and the stars and the colors and the nebulas and all of that are different on each paper. Black and pink with these, look at this beautiful gold paint up in the corner. So you can get that mixed media effect without doing it yourself. And then this is blue and teal with a gorgeous like star cloud in the bottom. And then these papers again without the gold. So whichever way you want to go, they are available to you. And again, the, the paper pack, the galaxy papers come in both 12 by 12 and traveler's notebook size in one pack. There are two sets of journaling cards. This is set two. Let's look at set one first, just for my OCD. <laughs> so every journaling card pack comes with um, four by six, two four by six cards and eight three by four cards. So let's look at the four by sixes. Journaling card with a quote from Neil Gaiman on it. It says, a book is a dream you can hold in your hands. And it's got those fun letters this time on black. And then this card says, to the girl who reads by flashlight, who sees dragons in the clouds, who feels most alive in worlds that never were, who knows magic is real, who dreams. This is for you. It's a quote by Megan Spooner. And then it's got that cute star constellation on the top. The three by four cards are a mix of journaling cards and designer cards. So we've got book people are the best people. A journaling card with reading lists on it. Look at the books in the background, they're so fun. She is too fond of books and it has turned her brain. Another journaling card with that rainbow stripe. A journaling card that says a book is a gift you unwrap page by page. A reader lives a thousand lives before they die with a cool bookshelf on it. Return this book on or before the latest stamped the latest date stamped below. So we've got a library card. There's one library card in each of these packs. And then I love this one. It says between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be. You've got your galaxy latte and your shooting star and glasses on that one. So some super fun designs in the journal cards. Let's look at set number two. Again, two four by sixes. 
eight three by fours. So this one has the galaxy in the background with all of the constellations and some journaling strips. And this one says contains vitamins, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, O, E, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So cute. Probably my favorite card, just because it took me a lifetime, probably. <laughs> she reads books as one would breathe air to fill up and live, which is a quote by Annie Dillard. It's always reading o'clock. Here's the other library card. Reading gives us some place to go when we have to stay where we are. A quote by Mason Cooley. Again, great for this time in our lives when we are quarantining, stuck at home. This is a cute journaling card. It has a little pillow stack on the bottom and it says just one more chapter and it's a note paper. Quote by Stephen King, books are a uniquely portable magic. Book review card. I'm going to print out 80 billion of these. <laughs> and then last but not least, sleep is great, but books are better. With the moon reading a book. So stinking cute. I love this collection. You know, if you follow me on any of my socials, you know I'm a big reader. I read, you know, 10, 12, 14 books a month. I love to read. So this collection is totally just, you know, me satisfying my own need for a reading book. So the stickers, the stickers come with three sheets of stickers as per usual. There is a sheet of word art tags, journaling bits. There are a bunch of actual journaling labels and a bunch of, um, of the icons as well. So all of my stickers come on printable PDF and PNG sheets. If you have a silhouette, you also are provided die lines for the silhouette. If there, um, if you are new to using my files on the silhouette, I have linked a video below on how to do that. So that is how I cut out my stickers and this is why they are so quote unquote perfect because my silhouette cuts them out perfectly in like a minute flat and I love it. So let's look at the icons first. Okay. Lots and lots of icons in this collection. I had tons of fun drawing. So of course we've got glasses and a Kindle. I read on my Kindle, I read paper books and I listen to audiobooks. So I needed to cover all those bases. Shooting star. There are a few different coffee mugs and tea mugs. Library card. Here is that pillow stack. This is just one more chapter on it. We all know that's a lie. Canvas library bag that says support your local library. And a rainbow, because I had to have a shout out to Reading Rainbow. I love, love, love this coffee cup with a galaxy in it. So cute. There are a few different planets. We've got planets with rings and stripes and dots on them. As we are taking a tour of the stars with this collection. We've got some cute a moon and a star with moon or with stars in the moon and stars. A telescope, spyglass, an open book. Here's my shout out to audiobooks. Here's a fun, so instead of a mason jar which is so common in scrapbook kits. I did one of these little, um, you know, like the rose jar from Beauty and the Beast. I always forget their names. It's like a storm glass or something like that. And it's got a galaxy in it and a book constellation. I did a few of these um, old school navigational, like astrolabe kind of things too. So shout out to the theme. A little library. I don't know if you have a little library in your neighborhood, but I did a galaxy themed one. A book shelf. I wanted this to fit perfectly on a traveler's notebook page, so it's about four inches across. Another open book, this time top down. 
another set of glasses with a very famous lightning bolt above them because you, you know I cannot have a a collection that's all about books and stars and magic without a little shout out to the magical dude himself who shares my birthday by the way another open book latte oh here are the other two so we've got a teacup too if you're into tea instead book stack you can do it this way you can do it this way oops sorry you can do it this way or this way whichever works for you magnifying glass if you're old like me and you need a little magnification i drew this fun lamp that reminded me of a constellation here's another one of those old school navigational devices i always forget all their names sorry i'm not up on my old school navigation Siri is my navigation. <laughs> and last but not least for the icons is my moon, my moon man reading. So there are some journaling bits as well. I had to have a X Libra's book label, of course. Then we've also got some book plates in here that you can use for journaling. So there are a few different shapes and patterns. And then your typical labels in different sizes and colors. Purple, green, yellow, pink, red, blue. And then some circular ones as well. And I feel like I just dropped one. I did. So we got two different circle sizes, two inches and an inch and a half. So nice simple ones because this book this collection is very loud and busy so i wanted to include some simple stuff as well last but not least in the um stickers are all of the word art so let's look at those there are some fun phrases as well as some you know more labely kind of things put all of these on top here so let's start with the top books are better than people <laughs> Sorry, y'all. They are. I'm an introvert. Oops. It's story time. My TBR list is infinite. Library hall. And so the story begins. Get lost in a good book. It's always a good day to read. Once upon a time in a book. Book stack. I love reading together. Just one more chapter. Shh, I'm reading. My weekend is booked and so many books, so little time. A book a day keeps reality away. We've got two cute little tiny buttons that say well-read and bookworm. Fight ignorance, read a book. A little tab that says due date, overdue. I read past my bedtime. TBR, DNF, which means do not finish, and TBR means to be read, in case you aren't up on the lingo. Speaking of to be read, <laughs> another tab with a rating on it, so you can fill in those little stars with your rating. My book club is better than yours, a shout out to my book club. <laughs> I'd rather be reading. When in doubt, library checkout. My book review, plot twist, read more books. Every book is an adventure. Reading is dreaming with eyes wide open. This book belongs to, this was a real page turner. My library speaks volumes. And last but not least, book nerd self-proclaimed book nerd and look this is so cute the books lean up against the edges oops the 
the books lean up against the edges of the tags because that is how big of a nerd I am. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the digital products. There are two digital products plus the digital kit this time around that I want you to see. So in addition to the printable products, there are two more digital products than normal. I have these beautiful stamps. There are 50 stamps in total with the icons and word art from the collection. So these are digital stamps. You can put them on your photos or printables before you print in a um, photo editing program like Photoshop or you can use them in an app like um, what is it called Canva yeah Canva you can put them on uh, you can import them into your phone and use them that way as well so there are some really fun stamps in this collection I really love them they're a fun addition to anyone's um, library anyone's repertoire if you don't know how to use digital stamps let me know in the comment section below and I will upload some videos on how to use them Moving on to the next digital bonus, there is a really neat pack of mixed media. So there are six br galaxy brushes in this collection. So there's like six galaxy paint splotches and you can see them in the background. There are also all of the constellations um, in the collection. So the entire Zodiac plus the book, heart, and mug constellations in both gold glitter and just regular stamps like the previous stamp pack so you can make them whatever color that you like and also additionally it is hard to see on this preview but there are two gold glitter speckled overlays that you can put on your papers or on your photos they are 12 by 12 and they are just a really super fun overlay for your projects and finally, let's talk about the digital kit. So I get all this question a lot. The digital kit is a lot different than the sticker set and the card set. It does not include the stickers. It does not include the cards. It does include a lot of the same um, icons, obviously, because it's all one product. But in the case of the digital kit, they are made to look different. So they are made to look like digital wood veneer. They are made to look like digital newsprint. They are made to have depth that the stickers do not have. Because so, they are aimed at a different audience. They are aimed at digital scrapbookers versus paper scrapbookers. So you have the best of both worlds. You can get the kit, which includes the 12 by 12 papers and the digital embellishments and an alphabet. Or you can get the printables, which includes the stickers and the cards and the um, the paper, the traveler's notebook papers or the pattern cards. But so this one has all of the uh, illustrations from the other kit, but the word art is different. There are quotes from famous authors in this collection. There's wood veneer, there is enamel, there are, is flare. There's just a lot of fun textures to really finish off this collection and make it super fun and versatile and just fun to play with. I just am so excited to dig in and have a great time scrapping all of my reading exploits with this collection with Ex Libris Galaxius. I will leave a link to it in the description box. Of course, if you are watching this as it goes live, it is 25% off for the weekend it releases, which is the weekend of 9-11. And I... That is it for this collection. So if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this product, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. And if you aren't joined up with my newsletter where I send out new product announcements and freebies and things like that, you'll want to hop over to TracyReed.com and sign up for my newsletter as well. All right, I will see you next time. Thank you.